morning. Some of you have probably experienced being hangry before when you're so hungry that you get a little angry. This <laughs> feeling led to a brawl in a buffet in Alabama over some crab legs. Watch this. Police say Shaquita Jenkins is one of two people arrested after assaulting an officer during the brawl at the Meteor Buffet restaurant, y'all. The officer says customers were waiting in line for more than 10 minutes for crab legs. Lost their tempers once the food came out. He says people were using service tongs like fencing swords and breaking plates. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jenkins and the other person are facing misdemeanor charges. I'm not laughing. Everybody's okay. <laughs> Hi. Just, just envisioning it, that's all. Yes, the yeah. service dogs. Okay. Service dogs. We're done. All right, we're going to take a deep breath. We thank you for starting your day with us. You see, we get you out the door informed and with a smile and a good time. All right. You even get, uh, there's a trophy at stake, I understand. There is. Where's is the trophy? Is this like a run of the mill trophy? trophy that you get what from, is you know? Something cool? Bring whatever, it in. Jason. Wow. Oh, no, that. <laughs> Which we'll just take home with us today. Yeah, that's. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. You all at home can think what you will about that trophy. I guess you could say if you get the trophy, you're the wiener. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. That was, that was great, you guys. That's very impressive. Okay, what else are you putting on top of your toast here? They said you could remove the trophy to be in my ear, but I don't want to touch it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could just leave it there. It's fine. Yeah, well, yeah whatever. Um, good luck. In a weird way, I hope you win and hope you don't win the trophy. Yeah, you right, know? right? <laughs> you make a necklace Where do you put out of it? it. You mount it? I don't know what you do. <laughs> Please don't say that. Okay. <laughs> Chipotle trying to help you be a better you out there, okay? It's new bowls. It's got new bowls that accommodates popular diets. There's a keto bowl, paleo bowl, Whole 30 diet bowls. They all have big rules about what you can eat. Oh, you mean those like the tortillas that they make when you order a bowl and not a burrito? Is that what you're talking about? No, you can get a bowl at Chipotle. Just in a little bowl. And the certain ingredients <laughs> go to a certain diet. How do you not know this? I mean, I do, but I'm so confused about what you're talking about right now. They're offering paleo diet friendly bowls. It has nothing to do with burritos. <laughs> Just the stuff that's inside. <laughs> but why would you eat the bowl? You don't eat the bowl. <laughs> when you have cereal, do you eat the bowl as well? So what does it matter if it's paleo or not? It's what's in the, it's the ingredients. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, ch the chicken, the lettuce, those things. <laughs> what's our weather? <laughs> okay. It's hard to say words sometimes. Speaking uh, of, Friday? <laughs> not it was. close. All right, now to some entertainment news. Rapper Cardi B is hoping to trademark the very specific way she says okay, and we're not kidding. Do it. I can't. Try it. Okay! I can't roll my tongue. Okay! No! It's like a parakeet. No, <laughs> Listen to Mark. Listen to Mark do it. Good. Okay. I can't See, do it. I can't roll my tongue. I had it in the newsroom earlier, didn't I? No, you didn't. You drove I, everybody out of the newsroom, in fact, yeah. you were practicing. You did. Uh, everyone got out. So there's more to this story. <laughs> so she's officially filed trademark paperwork for okay. <laughs> said with high pitch and rolled R's, Dan. Just what? try Don't even say okay. Just roll uh, the R. I had it earlier. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> God! It's going to haunt everyone's dreams throat. tonight. Honest to God. <laughs> Goodbye. I tried. You did. That's I could counts. watch that all night. I really could. I could watch that all night. Like you have a medical condition. <laughs> Oh, you crack story. yourself up, don't you? Yeah, really do here, guys. So, hey, all right, let's go and check out the numbers for you. <laughs> anyway, we, all right, let's go ahead. Dude, this is the high temperatures during the day yesterday. <laughs> 61 degrees here, 64, 65. Yeah, I got around Terre Haute. All right, let's show you. <laughs> Look at that. Drew, all right, we were, we were laughing during the commercial break. We all hit, hit our, our funny bone here, and I have tears in my eyes coming down. All right, rain is back out across Illinois, and it is coming in across parts of Indiana. Here's a day does go by. You know what's so funny, Drew? I have to leave, Randy, because we're we're egging each other on at this point. 57 degrees by four.
o'clock. Oh, he's got. I mean, we're just trying to do live TV. That's that's what happened with. <laughs> On Saturday and Sunday, 84 degrees, 84 degrees on Saturday, <laughs> 83 degrees during the day on Sunday. And we are looking at a few issues here and there. If you are coming in from the south side, we do have a stalled vehicle near the vicinity of uh, Main Street at Greenwood. I-65 north and southbound this morning look okay. What is going on? Am I oh, missing I something? We're doing fine. Stuff, <laughs> All so. right. But the cost for her services range from $7,500 to $30,000. But it could be worth it. She has an 80% success rate. Oh, that's pretty good. 80% sex rate. Success. Se oh. oh. <laughs> Freudian slip. Success rate. Yikes. Hello, Internet. Hello, Internet. That's going on there. Let's just move on, shall we? Can we please move on, Reba? I'll move on here. If you're single and ready to mingle, golly, did that go right into this next story? Uh, Lidl is playing Cupid this Valentine's Day. The grocery chain is partnering with Richmond-based dating service It Takes Two to help you find love. Uh, single people who attend the happy hour event will get to enjoy guided wine tasting and a master class, as well as hear dating advice from <laughs> Reba, stop it, from chief matchmakers at the website It Takes Two. They'll also have palm readings, and the first 30 people will get a Lidl gift card. Happy hours from 6 to 8 at the Lidl store on West Broad near uh, Staples Mill. And bring your grocery list. So if you don't find love, at least you can find something on sale you there. Grocery shopping. Rob, we all knew what you meant. We all knew what you meant. It's just Reba. Now, now it's Reba's rate. reaction. Success rate. Success rate. Slow. Say it slowly. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> this story is really hilarious to Jessica. I'm sorry. We were uh, watching our friend Ellen DeGeneres. Our um, good friend. Our good Shout friend. Shout all the time. In the commercial break, she was talking about aspirin, and it's hilarious. A uh, Valentine's Day is just over a month away. And if hey. you're looking for a getaway, you don't have to go far. You don't have to go far for this. Datingadvice.com released their list of the top 10 most romantic cities in North America. Just so you know, Ellen's new special on Netflix, Relatable, is hilarious. And is that is, where this is coming from? That's where this is coming from, and it is very relatable. Okay. Shout out to Ellen. Okay. <laughs> Got it. All right, as you prepare breakfast this morning, grab those milk cartons. <laughs> Today is National Milk Day. A day I'm sure you have been looking forward to celebrating. <laughs> milk, oh, we're going to describe. The script says to describe what milk is used for. So here we go. <laughs> milk can be in numerous things like cereal, baking, a beverage. <laughs> you can just drink it. Oh my god. According to the encyclopedia, <laughs> pasteurization Do began in the use encyclopedia. Milk used to be pasteurized. It started in the 1860s. That's when they removed harmful bacteria from the milk. Where did it come from? A French chemist and biologist, Louis Pasteur. <laughs> and don't worry if you can't celebrate. You got another chance in six months because that's World Milk Day. <laughs> Some scary moments for customers at a Kansas Home Depot. Police responded to reports of a bomb threat at the store in Wichita. A customer alerted employees. A man inside the bathroom said there was a bomb in the building. Police were able to locate the man responsible for those comments. And that man told police he warned other guests to leave the restroom because he was, quote, uh, fixing to blow it up. But had no intention of causing a panic. Man also told police others in the room laughed, understanding his joke, which I'm just now getting. <laughs> Home Depot says they will not be pressing charges. But I can tell you right now, you asked the producer for me to read that, didn't you? <laughs> to Ethan now, please. No. <laughs> We're gonna have to go to a commercial. No, break. we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. <laughs> All right, we're, we can do this. <clears throat> All right. Uh, turning now to an impassioned plea in a string of thefts. Uh, police are searching for several thieves believed to have stolen 
a 400 year old bonsai tree. <laughs> the missing tree seen here st <laughs> stands about three feet uh, tall and two and a half feet wide. <laughs> With more than 400 points and branches, it is, it is. <laughs> oh man, it is green with a brownish curved trunk that tilts a bit to the side, as you can see. <laughs> the the owners of the tree, fifth generation bonsai masters, would like to send a message uh, to the tree. Quote: Are you at least getting enough water? End quote. The owners say they've raised this tree as their own child and they are desperate to have it home. It's estimated to be worth about $90,000.